Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. I want to show you the Kilovolt Hab 7.5 kilowatt hour lithium battery. Now it is 48 volts, so you don't have to take a bunch of 12 volt batteries and wire them in series. This is 48 volts already, 150 amp hours. It's 7.5 kilowatt hour capacity. So you can use this with any 48 volt inverter, be it a grid tied battery backup hybrid inverter or with an off-grid inverter, as long as it's a 48 volt inverter. You can charge it either through an inverter charger, through solar, wind, water, whatever you want to use to charge, as long as it's a 48 volt charger. Now it is lithium iron phosphate, as opposed to lithium cobalt that you sometimes hear about the thermal runaway issues. The lithium iron phosphate is very, very safe and stable technology. So it's safe to install in your house. Now this is wall mounted, so you can actually just use the included wall mount bracket and you can mount it indoors or outdoors. Now if you are mounting it outdoors, you do wanna be aware of the temperature range. It will support uh, being used from 32 degrees to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, if it's outside, you wanna protect it from the rain and the sun. And if you do live in an area that, that is extreme temperature, either below freezing or above that 117 degrees, you're gonna to wanna to mount it inside in a protected area, maybe in the basement or the garage or just somewhere where you can control the, the temperature a little bit better. Now it's uh, about 208 pounds. It's 25 inches high, 20 inches wide and about nine inches deep. Now it uses one aught cable to connect between the battery and the inverter and the battery and other batteries if you're wiring them in parallel. Uh, one aught cable is not the most common cable out there. So if you're, if you're looking for it, we do actually carry them. Uh, take a look at the, the link up, up here and uh, you can get them from Alti store. It's got some really nice indicators so that you can see what's going on with your battery, just at a glance. It's got this really nice uh, LED state of charge status, so it'll show you how much of the battery you've used. Then it also has this um, LCD indicator that gives you the, the battery voltage, the remaining energy in kilowatt hours. It'll show you if it's charging or discharging and how many kilowatts it's either using or, or charging. It's gonna show you the state of charge percentage and the number of cycles that it's been through. So you can keep an eye on, on its life cycle. It'll show you the temperature of the battery. So you'll know if it's getting close to any of those extremes. It'll also show you um, alarms and warnings. So it really gives you a good indication of what's going on with the battery just from looking at it. Now it, it, it does also support Wi-Fi um, so that you can connect either with your computer to a web browser, or it also has an app for either your IO, iOS or for your Android. Now that gives you a lot of information as well. Show you some of the, the nice little screenshots of some of the capabilities of these apps. It's really, really nice to be able to remotely be able to monitor your, your battery. Um, it does have a uh, CAN bus that will communicate between the uh, other batteries so that it acts, if you're paralleling it, it will act as one great big battery bank. We've got Modbus communications to inverters coming. You can check out our website when that is available, but that should be available soon. Now, if you do have it connecting to other batteries, right now, as of January 2020, we, can, we support up to five of these batteries in parallel that'll give you 37 and a half kilowatt hours, but we are expecting to be able to connect up to 14 of them for 105 kilowatt hour capacity. So that should give you quite a bit of, of ability of, of storage. Um, it can actually charge at a rate of 125 amps. So that's six kilowatts that you can charge it with, and it can actually discharge 150 amps continuous. So that's seven and a half kilowatts. That's a pretty decent sized load for, for one battery. And uh, it's got a really high surge capacity. So it will actually uh, support up to 500 amps or 25 kilowatts for up to three seconds. 
So if you've got really high loads, like like a um, something with a big surge, like a, a pump or a motor or something like that, it's able to to handle that as long as, of course, your inverter can handle that that surge. Um, if you need higher than that, you would just uh, do multiple batteries and, and put them in parallel, and that will be able to handle the, the higher loads. It's got a seven and a half year warranty. Now, um, it will support over 4,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. And even after the 4,000 cycles, it will still have up to 80% of its capacity. So it'll still have six kilowatt hours capacity left after those 4,000 cycles. So what can you do with the, the seven and a half kilowatt hour capacity? Say you're, you're really your primary concern is keeping your fridge up and running. A typical fridge uses about one and a half kilowatt hours. So you can run that at four days and stay within 80% depth of discharge. Now, if you're looking to support more of your house, do more of your house backup, you can run your fridge, your lights, your PC, keep your Wi-Fi up, uh, your TV, so you've got communication. If you've got um, a well, you can run your well pump, your furnace blower. You can run all of that for multiple days before a recharge. Now, if, if your power's out because of a storm and you've got solar, in a couple of days, the, the sun will come back up and you'll be able to charge it right back up again and keep going for, for a long time. Now, you've probably heard me say before that anything that uh, makes heat or cold uses a lot of energy. So let's say you're trying to run a thousand watt heater or air conditioner. It'll run that for six hours. So if you need to run it for more than that, you would just need to get more of the batteries wired in parallel. So for 24 hours, it would take four of these batteries. But really what you're going to be using this for is, is backup for your, your critical loads, which tend to be the lower, um, the lower draw products. Um, or if you're running uh, this off-grid, you're going to have your, your, your household designed to not have huge loads like electric heat. So you're going to be really designing this so that you don't need to, to depend on running such a huge, huge load uh, for, for 24 hours. So anyway, this is the Kilovolt Hab 7.5 kilowatt hour lithium battery. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altstore.com, where we've been making renewable doables since 1999.